Okay, first off on the list today, we have an LG front load washer. The customer complaint is that it's doing everything. It sounds, it, it locks, it fills with water, it tumbles, it drains, but it won't go into a final high speed spin. So I'm going there suspecting that maybe the splines are worn on the rotor, between the rotor and the stator, or if it has an LE code, maybe it's the little laser that detects it's spinning. Um, but if the door's locking and it's draining, there's probably something wrong with the motor. So we're gonna get up behind it. We're gonna get all that footage for you and show you how to repair an LG front load washer that is not going into high speed spin. Get out and get some people. It's a beautiful day. First, turn on the machine to verify that it's working. Once verified, I'm gonna turn it off, put it into the diagnostic service mode by pressing the two middle buttons, the spin speed and the soil level button. By holding these down, press the start button and it should go right into, there we go, right into service diagnostic mode. All these numbers will be flashing, just ignore them. It's just showing you that it's in diagnostic mode. I'm testing that the door is locked and I press it once and it goes into a normal tumble speed. Okay. When we press it a second time, it should go into a medium high speed spin. So here we go. We press it a second time. <clears throat> it goes into a medium high speed spin and you see the RPMs in the upper corner here. I think that's 58 or 5,800, no, or 590 revolutions per minute. We press it a third time, it's gonna go into the real high speed spin. And it really ramps up here. It gets up over 1,100 RPMs, I think. So the machine is spinning. So it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with the motor. It's really going in, really ramping up now. You see the RPMs climbing. Doesn't, it seems to be level. There's no excessive shaking on the machine. So it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with the motor. So what we do is we took a load of four towels and we put those towels in and we ran a speed wash, a full 18 minute wash or 16 minute wash. And it drains and when it gets to the high speed spin, you see it, it, it wobbling and it's trying to ramp up here and it never gets to a full high speed spin and it just stays on six minutes left so what you'll do is you'll hear it drain you'll see it try to balance the clothes again you see that's what it's doing now it's tumbling trying to balance and then it'll ramp up to try to go into spin and then it'll stop drain a little bit and revamp and you can see it shake you can even hear it kind of limping because there's too much shake in the drum. So I'm looking up um, the model number and checking on the suspension rods to see how much those cost so I can give the, the customer an estimate. And here you go, here you see the shock absorbers, 3385 Okay, each. so that diagnosis was that the machine, the LG front load washer needs new shock absorbers, needs new suspension. Um, we ran it through the tests and it went in a high speed spin just fine. All the systems worked really good. Then we put four towels in there, put them on a speed wash, ran the whole 15 minute cycle. The last six minutes it drains and goes into a high speed spin and it wouldn't go into that spin. It just kept moving back and forth doing light tumbles trying to balance the load. Um, so it's sensing that the, the load is off balance. It's too wobbly. So our assessment is that it needs new shock absorbers. All right, get out and get some people. It's a beautiful day.